Hi, we're at Inno Defense in uh, Jakarta, Indonesia, on the booth of uh, PDPAL, the national shipbuilder. We are now meeting with the general manager of uh, design at PDPAL for a deep dive on the Merapudi frigate program as well as their new XL UUV program. Uh, sir, good morning. Thank you, thank you for welcoming us. So this is a very nice and large uh, frigate model for the Meraputi project. Uh, can you please tell us about this uh, program? Well, first it is well underway for the production. Uh, you already held the killing and the uh, steel cutting uh, several years ago. Can you please tell us more? Okay. Uh, thank you, sir. Okay. Uh, this is our first the high high tech uh, vessel we have built until now. Uh, this is we have the reference design for the Babcock, and about 60% we have to modify it uh, to comply the our client requirement. And now already done, and the steel cutting conduct at the at the end of the 2022, and the killing the 2023. And now the progress is as expected. Uh, by our customer, uh, they are happy about the progress, and it will be launched and finished uh, soon. So uh, you said you changed 60% uh, compared to the parent design. So the parent design is the Howard uh, 140 from Babcock, yes. which was also the basically the base for the Type 31 of Royal Navy. Yes. So 60% change. That's uh, quite a lot. That's more than half. Uh, what did you change? Can you tell us more? Yes, uh, we have modi modified a lot, especially for the combat system sensor and the gun, and also, of course, uh, this configuration may affect to the platform. So we need to modify uh, from the beginning all the basic design and approval to the class, and we have to finish all, and now already done. Uh, so one also key difference, so you mentioned the gun and you use a uh, dual 76mm uh, from Leonardo. In the middle, unlike uh, Type 31, you have a lot of uh, VLS, also you have uh, like an integrated mast. Uh, I believe many systems will be provided by uh, Turkey for such systems. Yes, sir. Uh, mostly our combat system uh, supplied by a Turkish company. Uh, for example, for the uh, missiles, uh, all supplied by Turkey. Uh, this is uh, 64 vertical launcher, and we can use this vertical launcher for the medium or low range for the missiles, for the ASM, and also uh, for SSM. And the midlast vertical launcher is the universal. So. Uh, each missile can occupy it and use the vertical launcher. And we use also the uh, fixed radar uh, from Aselsan. And also the gun we add from the parents' design, uh, we add more. There is secondary gun 76. And there is some uh, additional feature we, ha we have added to this ship. So this is uh, heavier, heavier than our parents designed the Type 31 or Arrowhead class. So 140 meters, what's the displacement? The displacement for the optimum design is about 6,000, but the full, uh, there is 6,600. That is heavy frigate. Full load displacement, 6,600. Yes, full load. Yeah. Okay, well, very nice. Uh, I look forward to uh, the ship uh, being launched. Uh, lastly, uh, what's the crew complement? Crew is about 177 person because this is very compact and we need to add the speed because the Navy requires uh, more speed so this it, it will be achieved 28 knots. So it is a higher speed than the parents design is only 26. So this propulsion uh, modification affect to the structure and the other system so we need to add more system and do the basic design review. Shabibi, I look forward to see the Muraputi frigates in the water. Thank you for the you know explanations about the project Trimakasi, thank you very much.